We're on the cusp of the most anticipated presidential debate in American history. And I'm totally serious. CNN, Chicken Noodle News, will have its highest ratings in years tomorrow from 9 until 1030. And then their numbers will dive back into third, maybe even fourth place. Who knows? This could be a serious coup for CNN if they had any actual news people left on staff that could do an honest debate. But what we've ended up with are moderators, two of them, that are total anti-Trump hacks. Look, this would be true if they tried to conduct a debate at CBS or MSNBC, too. None of these outlets have any serious journalists left on staff, at least not that I'm aware of. After real reporters like Cheryl Atkinson and Catherine Herridge have been forced out of the business, the number of living journalists in the wild among major network correspondents, it's like single digits, small single digits. In fact, I can't name one that's still on the air. It's what would be referred to in the animal kingdom as critically endangered. That's what reporters are in mainstream media, critically endangered. An actual honest, unbiased, and even handed reporter has not been spotted in the halls of CNN for several years now. Instead, they rely on the tabloid-type voices of cartoon characters like Jim Acosta and Anderson Vanderbilt Cooper. These are not serious people, period. And that means my expectations for fairness and impartiality are strained when it comes to tomorrow's main event. However, despite the reckless abandon with which CNN breathlessly reports on anything it can to smear Donald Trump while covering up for dithering Joe Biden, I'm going to watch. You can too, but you don't have to. I'll do it for you. And with the way this thing is set to go, it will be Trump against the world in that studio tomorrow. I'm not the only one that thinks the debate is going to be three on one or more accurately two and a half on one. But it will not be a fair and balanced debate that I can assure you. Here's more. Every little thing you do right now matters. I worry if Biden's over-preparing on the sense of having too much going on in your head, 16 different people telling you what to do. It sounds like Trump's going to go more out of his gut instinct to maybe shock and awe people. And remember that this time around, Trump's going to be also debating um, Jake Tapper and Dana Bash. He's going to try to take swipes at the press, the fake news and all of that. So uh, he's actually going to be debating three people there on that table yeah we'll see how that plays out by the way despite the fact that cnn and cbs and all the others will declare joe biden the winner if he just survives the encounter america and american voters will not be so generous that can i can assure you of americans as a whole are fed up with biden's time in the white house they're angry that the border remains wide open with mexico and illegal aliens get piles of free stuff while thirty-five thousand veterans remain homeless today and nearly 20 of those veterans will die on the streets tonight. Americans are angry that we will keep shoveling billions of dollars to Ukraine while those veterans die alone outside and, and nearly 18% of the kids in this country remain below the poverty line. Millions of them will go to bed tonight hungry. That is if they have a bed at all to sleep in. And for the people that can't afford to eat, they know it takes a lot more today to put food on the table than it did in 2021. They don't want men playing in women's sports or men in the girls' locker room. They don't want young women getting killed at the hands of illegal aliens. They don't want their cities and towns overrun by people who don't speak the language and don't care to learn. They don't want to be forced to buy EVs they don't want at a cost that's 50% higher than the last car they are actually able to afford. They don't want the government to take away their financial freedom and replace it with some digital currency run by the government. Americans know it is a time for a change and everyone will be watching to see what happens. Among those that are angry will be many that don't like either candidate. Yep, we've got those. But are willing to pull the lever for the one that they hate the least, just a little bit less. That will be another major hurdle on Thursday and a real opportunity for Donald Trump because I am certain Joe Biden's gonna harp on exactly two big things. He's gonna call Donald Trump a convicted felon over and over again while claiming he led an insurrection back on January the 6th. He'll, he'll mention that a few times, too. If Trump doesn't take the bait, if President Trump does not take the bait and focuses on the real issues people care about, the economy, the border, endless wars, and having a shot at making it in this country, and if he does so with just a little bit of humility and a bit of humor, he can seal the deal on Thursday. So is this more important for Trump or for Biden? You tell me.